Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Do It For Bruce. We're here in CK3 once more with another time lapse for y'all. Today, we will be bringing, oh man, I'm gonna butcher this one, Frihunde Townstu's idea to life. For the game rules of this time lapse, I've used the mod Shatter World to do just that and make the map explode into one counting nations. After that, I've randomized both the rulers and face of each of these counties and also turned off the Mongolian invasion. We've gone ahead and made the Kingdom of Denmark where every county has 100 development with a ruler who has immortality and 100 stats. I've also reformed the Astro True Faith. We're going to try and run this time lapse as long as possible, but sometimes the game ceases to function after a certain point just due to one issue or another. When it comes to predictions for this time lapse, I think our legendary lord will be pretty expansive. He will make it all the way down to the Horn of Africa before the game ceases to function. And finally, the other thing I think will happen is that Asatru will be the most dominant faith, but then right after that will be one of the Muslim faiths. So with that, that's all I have until we see each other after this time lapse. Talk to you then. Here we are 438 years in the future and our legendary lord has Olaf has uh, become the West Slavian Emperor which I was surprised that he didn't go ahead and just make a Danish Empire but I guess that's uh, just how that cookie crumbled this time he wasn't able to expand as far as I thought I said the Horn of Africa unfortunately has not yet made it that far but he does bolster a troop count of 140 and owns most of uh most of europe for some reason there's a couple holdouts here and there randomly where they're just random things that you would think that they would go ahead and conquer but i think the ai for whatever reason just hasn't done it it also doesn't help that a lot of the lands uh, originally were counties let's look around the rest of the world it looks like hispania is one of the more prevalent nations we got Iran, more prevalent nations. We've got Medina as a kingdom. We've got this random Zoroastrian uh, kingdom, Taligan. Let's look at faith. Uh, we shall see who is the winners. Oh my goodness. I think this is the first time ever we see two different Jewish faiths actually rise, bubble up to the top. So much so that they own Iran 
and where is this other one here in uh, northern india has been uh for whatever reason converted to judaism let's move on to culture and see what what grossness has been created so the, our boy started as norse so i would wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised that he had spread danish more to his people but it seems for the most part like nothing has changed there are some some variations but i swear the ai just doesn't just doesn't uh, either have the prestige doesn't have the willpower doesn't have the want to make uh cool combinations of things uh for the most part they've stayed the same butri mongol is something else random cultures in random uh, counties so that's that's why they've made a made it all the way over here let's then look at development oh yeah so it looks like those hundred uh, those 100 developed counties have bled into the north of Germany area and as well as uh, this area up here uh, for the rest of the world not that much but this is like a bright blinding light uh, coming through look at the empire as a whole and see who owns it okay so frisia owns a lot of it surprisingly west slavia the king the emperor himself doesn't he owns weird parts of it i would think as an ai who has a domain domain dominion limit of 16 he would have just kept all the the high stat things but maybe the ai just thinks of way, things in different ways than we do. Realize the reason he doesn't have his 100 stats is that he did not, uh, don't have the mod, uh, I don't have the mod on currently when I loaded up this save file. So that, but they, he did have it when running through, that's how he was able to survive this long with all of this 466 years. Is there any change in court languages? So the most part, it looks like it's Norse, Baltic, uh, no lingua franca. Kingdoms, obviously Denmark made almost a attempt at a weird Prussia, but not much other than that there. Uh, I think the stability of these mostly has to do with the fact that the king made his own uh, different nations. Also, what is Sorbia? I feel like that's a new kingdom. Maybe it's been added since the update and I have just not been uh, keeping wise to it. Uh, let's look at the rest of the world. Uh, nothing to note. Uh, Arabia, Medea, that's that's split into that. Nothing other than that. So West Slavia, very surprised that he didn't go with Scandinavia, but uh, that's just the decision he took in the end. Government type, feudal, some clan, tribal. Uh, we did see a lot more mixed all over the place, which was fun. Uh, which was fun and also interesting to see where things would take us. Uh, not a lot of theocracies. I don't know. Let's see if the Pope. Pope does probably not exist. Catholicism is a dead faith. Uh, that's wild. Uh, absolutely crazy. It no longer it has been wiped out. Most Christianity other than Orthodox. That's maybe because the Ecumenists always exist. I feel like that seems to be a, a continuing factor that I've seen where the Orthodox still somehow sprout up in Greek, in Greek areas. They're still able to reseed their uh homeland even if it's been uh taken over by some other religion but yeah so far this was a pretty successful one i wish we could have ran a little bit more but the game ceased to function because maybe just because it doesn't like having immortal rulers run things and all of that but yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a good rest of your day ciao